trying to push it ironically right as I was you know good doesn't feel like a monster because the current's relatively strong but I've only been doing this for about 15 minutes tops let's reel this line in now I forgot to say this in the intro but I do have a big and a small bait on each pole like I have been I am not in any big fish tournament except for the regional but the regional is your two big biggest fish of the month and your three fish closest to 25 inches but the national tournament oh, I was about to change my shoes too. figures the national tournament is um, my five closest but not breaking 32 inches the big baits I have on the dragon poles are shad or I'm sorry are um, skipjack and then maybe he's a little bigger than I'm getting him credit for and then my small baits are shad up next to me I have three pieces of shad I've got a feeling he um, got wrapped up in the line this is exactly how that fish fell over there above Meldal the other day not sure what order my videos are going to be in but I have that one ready to go but if this ends up being a better trip what I've been doing is if I end up having a better trip my my scheduled videos they go to the back seat all right we're gonna have this ooh. Oh, we're gonna have this net ready to go for when he gets close Oh, he's unraveling, he's unraveling. That was a gar that just popped right next to me, if you guys heard that. I hope this camera, I hope I have a good, my camera angles have been really bad recently. Which is why I'm hoping this chest cam solves an issue. Are right, spiraling. I have a feeling he's on the hook closer to the swivel, which in this case would be the skipjack. It's either the side piece or the head piece. Yeah, he is on the hook closer to the swivel, so it is the bigger hook. And he's not big, but... That right there is exactly why I got this net. So I could fish in current. Get behind the fish. And bring them in. Very good. Alright, Bob. 25 inch on the nose. A good 5 pound fish. Nice and fat. He's feeding. Is it a he? It is a he. Alright, this is a male blue cat out on our main channel. That's awesome news. Awesome news. All right, we're going to get him out of here. See you, bub. I mean, I guess I kind of deserve getting soaked for that. This guy's being tailed. Ugh. That was a hit. There we go. That's a hit. Is he hooked up? There we go. Come on. Very good. Old baby fish. It's all right. We're not even going to, uh, you know what? For this guy, we're not going to reel up this time. We won't reel up this time. Oh, I think you just let go. We won't reel up this time since he's so small, but we'll, uh, We are going to net them though because I am in a lot of tournaments and 24 inch -er would be ideal here. So I don't know if you guys can see my Jeep. This is my, uh, I don't know, fifth or sixth hit, uh, second hookup, if I land them, that is. I had one also 
had one close to good hookup, or one close to hookup. All right. Old channel rat. Come here. Come on up. There you go. That is overkill, but when you are dragging in current, overkill is okay. All right, we're gonna get him out of here. Hold 19 and a quarter. Fast living in the money too, and I had loving sweet as honey do, but now they're coming, they're coming for me, they are coming. There we go. There we go. That seems like a better hit than the other fish I've been catching so far. All right, kayak Mike Rig 2.0 finally scores. Now I did kind of take this out a little prematurely. Ooh, that feels good. Much better. So, I hope that doesn't come back to haunt me. I don't have anywhere to put this. This is not good. I guess I'm just gonna have to have it there. That's not a bad channel rat at all. I'm fighting way out of this league. Well, I am now running. Oh, that's a blue. That's a blue. I was wrong. Not bad, blue. Need to keep him out of my transducer. Need to keep a bend in the rod. Here we go. Much better blue. Oh, good hit. Good hit back there. Sorry about release shot over here, bud. That guy was a uh, kayak stopper. He doesn't feel that big anymore though. Oh, maybe he was just, oh, oh yeah, he was just swimming towards me. Move my phone so I don't knock it in the water. We're still at 25 feet, good, okay. Go a little bit. This guy feels the biggest of the day, but that don't mean nothing. Could just be wrapped up in the line. Oh, too bad we didn't see that. Too bad we didn't get to see that hit. My head's probably chopped out of all this, but you don't need to see my face. Everybody wants to see the fish. Hole was double skipjack and guys my skipjack is disgusting so I might have just hit a good time to come out and fish granted I'm not a big believer in only using fresh I, I believe there is accuracy to it that fresh is better but I also am a bigger believer in technique over bait it's 
it don't matter what bait you have if you do not put them in front of the fish you have a zero percent chance at catching fish if you do not put your baits in front of the fish now if you get it in front of the fish and they don't eat then yes of course bait can play a factor but if you don't have the technique to get it in front of their face at all bait doesn't mean squat yes look at this another one that just barely grazes 25 so i cannot put him i cannot put him in the under slot for the regional oh all right we're gonna get him out of here you know what i'm gonna start doing what other people do my fish look tiny in all my videos. This was an amazing fish. Look at this thing. See you, bub. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing here. If you guys can see this. So what I have here is I have the auto, question, comment in the below if you know how to fix this. Hummingbird Helix 7 only has one slot, so I can only put one card in here. I currently have the auto cho auto zero whatever getting hit zero whatever lines card in here. And when I did that, check this out, the internal map disappeared. Internal map is completely gone, uh, which kind of stinks because I really don't know how parallel I'm going with the with the shore. Um, because a lot of times I'll be dragging out there. I won't be dragging this close to shore. So the, the lines and the directional arrow helps me in how I am going, making sure I'm staying parallel and going in the channel and not zigzagging around. Well, um, for whatever reason, I no longer have the internal map and I cannot figure out how to get the internal map to stay there while I'm still charting. Oh, I'm getting, I'm hung. Okay, good. Uh, but back to I was rambling back to what I, what I was going to show you guys I have the auto chart live now The plan here was I was trying to find where the ledge kind of not ledge where the channel kind of started Where it gets deepest it gets deepest here about 30 feet 30 to 40 feet So once I hit 30 feet up here, I started my um, I started my drag and I'm trying to stay in that 25 to 30 foot range but the awesome thing about this auto charts live is is check this out in the winter when I'm looking for holes and stuff check that out as I came through here it was deep and it was shallow on either side um, so now in the winter when I come through here I know oh hey I have a little channel right here that I can fish when you're looking at this giant oh I'm getting a hit back here as I'm talking so I'll try and keep talking while we're watching this hit when you're fishing this giant Ohio River the fish are going to live in the structure, in highways, etc. And and in a in the like for example, the Little Miami River. I was able to sight fish that because I could essentially figure out what was on the bottom, based off of what was on the side of the river. Not perfectly, but I had a really good sense of where I, what I was fishing and where I was fishing based off of my surroundings. Out here in the Ohio River. That doesn't tell you anything. That just tells you there's wood there. That does not mean there's wood here. If that was where I'm at, I would be getting hung up every two seconds, no matter what dragon rig I'd be using. So you need, you really need something like this. You need something that has the chart feature to really help you out in the winter when precision anchoring is key. So I started using this auto chart feature. I wish I started using it a long, 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 long time ago. Because this is going to, I was pretty successful in the winter for someone who wasn't using a graph correctly. And now that I'm going to have the choke points, the highways, etc. I should be even better suited next time I'm out here fishing in the, uh, fishing in the Ohio. Also, days I decide to suspend drift, I'm going to be able to tell ahead of time when ledges and stuff are coming. Ooh, I'm getting... I'm going to be able to tell when the ledges are coming before they get here. He's still on. He's still on. There we go. 
That's a good hit. Oh, wow. That was a very good hit. I don't know if I changed this to back to my blue drag. Tighten that drag just a little more. All right. Fish on. All right. Let's see here. I wish the camera was angled a little better. I hope he hooked himself. And I hope... Oh, he's unraveling a lot. Kayak Mike Rig 2.0 scores. All right. He's super raveled. Biggest fish of the day, I think. Super raveled. Which is a blessing and a curse. Oh, I'm getting a hit in my other pole behind me. This one seems bigger, though. He's on the smaller bait, or smaller hook. Oh, get in there. All right. Fish in the net. We good. I'm still getting that hit on that pole behind me to my left. Now if I go, honey, let me go. Down the river on the Ohio. Bury me deep in the water wide. I'll see you on the other side. If I go, honey, let me go Down the river on the Ohio Alright, this guy is a male So I'm main river now Our spawn is finally over I don't know if you guys can see it You got some spawn marks on this guy Solid, solid, solid fish So I'm kind of showing off to the barge Hey barge! So I'm out of here See you later, blue cat Rip drag. I don't know if you guys heard that. This is the one that had drag rip on it earlier, and I uh, I tightened the drag down a little bit. Where are we at? Yep, we're back in the 23 foot of water. That makes sense, which means this bait was probably right in that 20 foot range. We've been going to. Uh, we're kind of going, we're scooting across the river now, kind of diagonally. So the nice thing about that is I'm getting the scent trail in multiple areas of the river. I'm not just doing one straight path. Let's get you guys a little better angle of this. All right, this one uh, feels the biggest of the day. Hit the hardest for sure. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. He's got my other line. No! No! You gotta be kidding me. I, uh... Oh, man. Hopefully you guys can at least see that. And he's got my hook to where I could, I could, I could actually get this out if I brought him in the boat, but I might just cut my losses. At all. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, did you guys hear that? Drag scream. Maybe this was on the bomb, maybe it wasn't. It don't matter. Oh, 
I I just put this thing down not too long ago. I need to get this uh I need to get this suspended bait out of the way. Please, just please, 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 please be a catfish. Yeah, this is what I mean about my GoPro mount being really loose. All I'm doing is reeling in my other line and my GoPro mount, it normally doesn't do that. It normally just stays and locked in one place. I can't, so my screen is really bad in the sun. I no longer can see it, so I'm just guessing and hoping you guys can see it. But this is a, a very good fish, a very cool. Now it has head shakes, but the last two gars had head, head shakes too. And my chest cam's refusing to turn on. Is that GoPro on? Okay. Our fireman buddies are coming back. You know what? I might, I might just hit that spot lock on this guy. You know what? Yeah, I'm going for bait after this. We're going to hit spot lock on this. So I only have to fight the river and not the river and the boat. Please, just please be a damn catfish. Yeah, buddy, that's a cat, that's a cat. Oh, I made this leader line so damn long. Best or second best of the day, not sure. Come to Papa. There we go, there we go. Oh, no monster, but that fight, dude. In this current, with this current being, <laughs> with this current rising, oh man. No, don't flip. Get I've never this. been fishing in my life. I'm sorry? I've never been fishing <laughs> in my life. Really? Yeah. How's it going? It's going well. That's a blue cat. What is that? Blue cat. Blue cat. Blue cat. That looks pretty damn big. It is. It's right at the bottom of the size I want to be catching. Oh, so you just let him go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, um, I'll um, i eat catfish, but I'm I'm currently in a tournament. Yeah. And we got we to gotta release all the fish in a tournament. I see. Yeah. So that's what this thing's for. You measure it? Yep. Yep. It? Yep. We photo all of our fish and yeah. let them back. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Looks fun. I've just never done it. Oh my. This is so much fun. Yeah. Any species, not just catfish. Yeah. I hope it didn't screw you up there. I just nah. Nah, you're good. You're good. Have a good one. Give him a little plug. He came over and was pretty cool. His name's Captain Jack. It's a party boat. So if you're downtown Cincinnati, Captain Jack, apparently he's a cool guy. Stop by, see the fish. Some people would have hated that. I, to me, that's flat. That's flattering to me. So. We're going to reel these lines up. Go try and get bait. Oh wow, oh wow, he's back. Oh my God, I just unclipped. Cause they are coming, they're coming.